talking about he is a shield. He is he is just a troll. Who? He who? What are you talking about? The man he was talking he was talking to me. Ah, uh, no. Blow me. I think and I just everybody... I would rather just hear you play piano, John, than hear you talk. Yeah, everybody know. Song. Everybody knows he is a troll. Everybody knows. <laughs> and, uh... Who's he? Who's he on the bell? It doesn't matter. It's like when Jazz. It's like when Jazz is arguing <laughs> with Quantum Eraser. Like on, he's listening to it on YouTube and he thinks he's here in person. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> and he yeah, starts yeah. arguing with him. <laughs> yeah, that that's quite funny. Yeah, I love when Jin screamed at himself and made that screech because. He oh, was, oh. He kept, yes, he kept telling everybody to shut up and it's like <laughs> so you're the only one talking. <laughs> okay, but there is a lot of trolls. There are a lot of trolls, but there's uh, paid, paid trolls to uh, go against the flutter. Why? Because the flutter is true. If I'm a, and it's, John, if it's I'm against, a, if I'm a it's against troll. academia, it's against academia, I think everything will fall, Every, the fucking system will fall, it will be catastrophic for the so-called uh, uh, elite. They will, they will be the fucking dumbest people in the fucking world. Like they are, of course. If I'm, uh, a, if I'm a paid troll, I'm not getting paid enough. Yeah. Yeah. You can get three hundred dollars for. I do. Yes. Hey, what's what's Brummy's sister? What's Brummy's sister's name? Whatever Brummy's sister's name is, I think it's funny because you, you're entertained by a lot of the um, flat earthers' interactions in here. Yeah, I'm not, like sure if you've, I, I'm not sure if you've seen uh, Brummy in here. I uh, know I have. <laughs> when Brummy's in here, it's a different, it's a different game altogether. <laughs> You're laughing sorry. now. Brummy's one of the funniest dudes because he's my buddy. But he's, he, he's, he's, he. Whenever he first came in here, he was arguing about veganism, and he was not a vegan. Like he was a meat eater, but he was arguing yeah, for veganism. Not, not vegan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But the same thing with the flat earth. Like he was, he was super, he was super harsh on the flat earthers, and then he becomes a flat earther. Yeah, apparently a lot of people from Birmingham that have that are in here have been turned to flat earthers. I, mean, I don't know anybody else who was turned to a flat earther, but um, yeah, someone, yeah, said, someone that said that to me. Yeah, I don't know. Well, we only know one person, two people. Probably the only person I know that was a globe that turned to a flat earther. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we only know one person from Birmingham up until now. You don't sound half as brummy as brummy. Yeah, no. No, I, he's brummy's proper brummy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's probably because we we just hang around different people. Uh, so yeah, that must be. Because I mean, we went to a different school as well. He really does sound brummy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he does. Yeah, his accent is <laughs> so much stronger than yours. I mean, I know there's you know even in even just that area there's a few accents, but. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't live with me, though. He lives on the other side of Birmingham. Right. Copilina. Gobi you never yeah. talk, we never, because we are interrupted uh, about this global wolves, wolves, <laughs> wolves you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, we were talking about the gravity, and uh, 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 it will pleasure me if you if if you can uh, give me give me that uh, pleasure. I'll talk about gravity okay. with you. So, do you believe that gravity is real? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> that that was funny. Question, is it? <laughs> I'll never be asked. Uh... <laughs> you stumped him already. He's the one who wanted to talk about well it. Well done. I'm impressed. Uh, that was funny. But n no, uh, not really. Uh, uh, it, it was my question. It's like uh, Buzz Aldrin was asking the young lady, he was 80, 80 years old or something, he said, Oh, that is not uh, eight years old's question. It's uh, 
<laughs> you know, <laughs> all, you have to You're be all of this question. Okay, okay, relax, uh, no interruption. Just uh, let it, let it uh, uh, relax and uh, let it sight in. No, I don't believe in uh, gravi gravity, like uh, the explanation of of the heliocentric uh, theory. It absolutely uh, absurd. It can't be, and uh, there is absolutely no nothing behind it, and there's no cause or effect. Uh, that can uh, explain the gravity, but there is no gravity like they are trying to tell you or others in the school. What is it? Yes, the things is falling down. Yeah, things is falling down. But it's not about the gravity. It's about natural law. A natural law has uh, that in the in the centrum we are in. We are living in a closed system, and we 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 have uh, density and we have buoyancy and we are electronic and we have we have. Uh, uh, Magnetic electronic centralism and we are polar, polar of electronic that is like a cylinder over our world. It's, it's, it's a big, big field. Everything, everything that's falling down is because everything is plus jargon and everything on the ground. Is minus jacket. So the acceleration is because, oh, I am talking the gravity, the only thing about gravity is the acceleration. That's the only thing that we have to explain. Everything else is just a bullshit. So, there is no gravity, there is no scientific method uh, that can prove cause or effect of gravity or explain gravity. Oh, they are going from Newton gravities to, uh, to crazy gravity, uh, gravity of uh, bending of space-time. Bending of space-time is concept. And you can use concept just like an allergy for everything. You can you can use allergy and make it right for everything, but it's not right in the reality. But in your mind it can be right, but it is not right in uh, in in the physic and law of physic. And I, no, it's not over. over. Just <laughs> over. So, what is gravity? I will hey, give you. Can I watch this video? I, 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 I think it really I, deals with what I, you just said. Ne, why are you talking? Why are, why are men are always talking? I'm talking with a lady. I will, a lady will think for the, himself. Because you battled so, for the last 10 minutes. No. I, 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 will, I will give a pause now. I will give a pause now. And, and ask this beautiful lady, I think she is, <laughs> because I have a fantasy. There's nothing wrong with fantasy. But you have to know how you are fantasy. How you are fantasy. But I'm asking you, what is gravity? What is gravity? Yes. Well, it's 
An assumed force. Assumed force. Acts upon things. Right? But, uh, but nobody, everybody understands um, there's no proof for it. It's not a force. Uh, well, there's no... Assumed force. The, yeah, there's no proof, but it's like, you know, it's based on empirical evidence. Well, em empirical, no. yeah. Back in the question uh, for explaining something. Like excuse. For I'm lost, to be honest. What is gravity? No, <laughs> what is no, gravity? No. <laughs> like... You're not lost. No, no, you're you're real. Just <laughs> relax. <laughs> Relax. Think, but just think. Right. Think. No. Yeah. Everybody wants you to say. Just I use your I, brain. I don't. Are you, are you looking for like the definition of gravity, or are you looking for like, like I feel no, like you, you're trying to catch no, me up. No. No. You're <laughs> understanding. Understanding. How do you understand it? You have no understanding of it. Of gravity. What is you gravity? Evidently, because you don't think it exists. Okay, we we'll take it easy now. Do you know uh, there is a uh, different uh, definition of gravity? I have a question, right? So you know how, like, you sort of question everything that. No, no, no. Okay. Like yeah, you have to. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. I, I asked you, and uh, you, you cannot just start talking about something else. And yeah, yeah, but like I'm, I'm. I, I'm no, like, I was I, asking you. Do you know definition of gravity? She gave you the answer, Johnny. No, she was trying <laughs> to talk about something else. Yeah, but, yeah, she's but it's, 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 question. it's like. A, well, what is gravity? Literally, the definition is that it's like you know, it's a, it's a force. That, no, it isn't. That pulls things towards no, the center of the Earth. No, also, no, and it no. also acts on like, well, each each different planet. Wouldn't it be the opposite of that? It'd be pushing space, pushing, pushing, uh, uh, pushing uh, should be the better relative. But it's uh, pushing is nothing is pushing up. up. Everything is pushing down. So it's not. Right. Good work. But to that's you. not that's not it. true. Because what is down, right? Your concept of down is comes from your own concept. Who is this? Absolutely. Is this Elon? Yeah. Elon, tell us why we should even consider your idea that it's space pushing. It, it's the only thing that makes sense. <laughs> How does it well, make sense? Explain. Make something sensible out of this. Because surely hmm. if space pushed it would no like act, it, it, would, it would just it would act on everything differently than... in the reality in the reality if 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 not if, you if johnny have, don't, elon no listen listen now if if you have johnny, a uh, do i have to listen. rename you elon johnny let elon if, explain if, his idea shit i'm talking if, johnny if hang on i am talking, talking over talk me with... Johnny, do you want to take a break? No. I would t I okay. want you to take well, a break. Well, let's let it be your choice to not continually talk. Because I will tell you that... Uh, that, that motherfucker. That, that fucking you earth... You away the goddamn up. troll, Johnny. The fucking... <laughs> there he is. He's back. He's under a new name or he quit streaming or something. All right, Elon. Yeah, explain. So if you think about it, like I think about it as a trampoline. And if you think, uh, if you put different uh, sized marbles on a trampoline, the largest marble will go to the middle. But it's because the largest model is pushing in on the fabric of the trampoline to begin with. It's not that the trampoline is pulling the model, uh, the marble to into the center. That makes no sense. This is a horrible example for what we're trying to talk about. Isn't that just gravity, though? 
Well, that's what I'm talking about, the concept Why of gravity. Push? That, that, Why push? That, example, Where are you getting pushed that from? example yeah. doesn't come from me. It's not a terrible example at all. <clears throat> Neil deGrasse Tyson is the person is. I came There's with. no push. You're not explaining why push. Okay, so for example, wh how in, in 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 that analogy, right? It's easy to think about that because the trampoline is the fabric of space, right? So when the big marbles are going to the middle and the small marbles are rolling but like around them, it makes no sense for the trampoline to be pulling them. Because it's the weight of the object which is pushing down on the fabric to begin with. It's not pulling the fabric. That makes no sense. When you set the marbles on the trampoline, why do they do what they do on that fabric? Because they're heavy, right? In this demonstration, yeah. It's, I mean, it's Earth's gravity that's causing it. This is a pathetic example. And again, all you're doing is trying to attack gravity you're not explaining why push makes sense. What is space that it would push equally around a force that gets stronger the closer to the surface of the Earth an object is? Can you say that again? It's weaker closer to wherever the source. You, you can't even identify a source of the push. You're just going to say it's out there. But the farther from the source, the stronger the force of push would become in your cockamamie idea. This, this fucked up concept that you have that you absolutely refuse to support with any kind of common sense or, or you know, just any legitimate argument to back, back it up. All you do is attack pull. Well, I don't understand how pull works. That's irrelevant. <laughs> Tell me why it push... Wait, it can you can you explain you. Why what is pull... pushing? I know you're gaming, Lonnie. Okay, it's not like you're pulling one over on me. Now go ahead, expose yourself. Show well, that you should that you've got nothing for this. You came in and made so a stupid more... statement because you thought it was funny and entertaining for you to troll the room with. Oh, gravity's a push. Um. Okay. Well, a lot of people actually hold that claim, so I don't know. But basically, um, if you think about the mass, the mass is pushing in on the fabric of space to begin with. That's where the concept comes from. Because why would mass the fabric... Pushing. Why would the What are you fabric, talking about? Can, can I talk before you interrupt? Why would the fabric be pulling... You're not saying in? anything. The idea is the mass is affecting space-time, the trampoline, in a dimension that is different than what the three dimensions we normally experience. It's curving the fabric. Yep. So I have a question, though. How does um? So if that's true, let's say that's true. If it's um push, how does a magnet mag magnetism pull work then? Wait, do wait, the magnets pull? Yeah, so a magnet's pull, right? They have an attraction force. How does that one work? So, like opposite sided magnets. Yeah, they, they yeah, how, yeah, how, yeah. They pull towards each other. So, uh, I, I get what you're saying about gravity, but how, that one's not the same thing. And so, how does that one work as a pull or a push? I guess we're saying everything's a push. Right, couldn't you just say the opposite? Couldn't you just say the opposite sides are pushing? So, that would like make magnets work, right? It's not that no, they, 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 they push, that's fine, but the ones that pull, that attract, they actually attract. And that's not a function of the ones that side that pushes, right? That's a totally different phenomenon. Uh, so, <laughs> if, if I'm claiming that it's pushing, then I have to say that magnets or anything cannot pull. Well, I'm asking you, you said you explained how you thought it was that gravity, a relativity, relativistic gravity. You said, look, it's actually a push, and you explain what you thought. And I, I kind of get what you're saying. I'm just asking you, if everything is a push, I just thought of another attraction force besides gravity. And I'm wondering, well, you think everything's a push. You had this explanation for why gravity is really a push. Well, what is the explanation? Maybe you know it, or maybe you don't. I don't know. What's the explanation for magnetism attraction? Well, I'm not saying um, nothing can pull. I thought you were saying there's no attraction forces ever. We well, no, did say that's, a, that's, he did say a pole my... doesn't make sense. I, so I, I, said, I didn't say that at all. I didn't say that there's no pull. That wasn't my okay. that wasn't my. Oh, so there, okay. He did say so a pole doesn't make sense. 
I said I don't understand uh, the pull, uh, the pull. Line, or the pull gravity gravitational pull. I don't understand. I don't understand how that works. Well, if there's a pull in magnetism, then there gra might turn out that gravity has a pull too. It might turn out lots of things are pulls, and we just don't understand it yet. We at okay. least have one thing that seems like a pull that we don't understand, right? But if you don't understand if why it pulls, then why do you believe it pulls? Well, I don't necessarily believe it pulls. I just don't know that it pushes. It certainly seems like a pull, right? It, it acts like an attraction between the two things. And I'm what you know, acts? What acts? It seems like pull can be a thing. In gravity, what is the attraction? I'm talking about magnetism. No, no, not not magnetism. In gravity. Same well, thing. it's kind of magnetism. Same thing as gravity. It's the, the attraction force is the force that's causing two things to move in a direction that is towards each other. But can you demonstrate that? Like, that why, why would uh, the like universe be expanding? Well, what do you mean? Why would it be doing that? Why, is that why would it be expanding if everything is attracted to each other, right? Well, everything can be attracted to each other. other. The only, that's not the only, uh, let me just answer the question. The, Things can be attracted to everything can be attracted to everything, and that's not the only force that exists in the world or in the universe, right? There can be other forces happening. So, for example, every, the Earth attracts, say, a plane, but a plane can also have forces acting on it that cause it to rise. It doesn't mean that gravity is not acting on it. So and what gravity, would the, gravity is just one of many forces. What would the bigger force be pushing it away? What would that because the bigger force is stronger in a different direction. No, no, but what would it be? You, which force are we talking about? No, any force, a force stronger so than gravity. In the plane, in the case of a plane, because the way the plane is designed, the engine causes the air to move over the plane, creating a differential that has a greater magnitude and a different direction of gravity, and it lifts. Same thing with birds' wings. No, I'm I'm talking in space. In the in the fabric of space, what is uh, more like stronger than gravity, which is canceling out gravity, which is causing the uh, like expansion of the universe? What is that? So, I don't know if it's canceling out gravity. Things are still attracted to each other, right? But there's also an expansion. I, my understanding about expansion of the universe is very fundamentally different. It's about like um, the actual substrate is expanding in all directions. And I'm not a cosmologist. I, I, I couldn't get, give you a deeper understanding of that, but. There's no reason to think that because there's two forces acting on things that one of them isn't real. At that but same that's level, that's but at that, at that same level, do you not, uh, uh, Scott? Uh, don't you have the same problem with magnetism? Like uh, uh, you don't understand why that happens either. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I don't. I, I, I tell it. We, we, have a, we don't fully understand. There's a lot we don't fully understand. That's okay. Yeah, but with um, dark energy and with gravity, uh, it, it, there's more than just the magnitude. Magnitude is based on the, you know, the, the distances involved. And uh, dark energy is much stronger on a grand scale, but uh, because of the local mass in like a galaxy, there's enough mass to um, overcome any dark energy uh, that's occurring there. So well, that's, that's why on a galaxy scale, you're never going to experience, uh, well, not never, but not in, not in our lifetime. Like we're never, never, we're never going to experience uh, the expansion inside of a galaxy because gravity is, uh, is, is you know, overcomes it in the in a galaxy, but that's only uh, locally. Well, you're saying like dark energy is less, it has less force than gravity? No, I'm saying it's less. It's 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 uh, less apparent. It's there's more gravity is accounted for more so in a galaxy because there's more mass collected in a close enough um, uh, region for it to be stronger. It's the same thing as gravity and electromagnetism. Like people always say, electromagnetism is stronger than gravity, but you can think of examples where if you have enough mass, uh, it's very much. Uh, the gravity is going to be much stronger than electromagnetism, like in a black hole or something like that. Uh, but, but but it's not the same thing. It's not the same. You, you say talk about uh, black matter and uh, <laughs> and gravity at the same time because uh, you cannot talk about uh, electromagnetic and everything at the same time. You have to understand there is no gravity in in, in the matter. Thanks for the update. Hey, Elon, why does push make sense? You've yet to explain that. I, I have explained why. What's pushing off of what? 
I, dude, I've explained it in my analogy. I don't know why you don't understand it. You really think you have? Can somebody else here explain to me what Elon explained about why push makes sense? What is pushing off of what? What's pushing towards the earth? I think that's like like a perfect example, and that's why it's so famous. I don't. I can't believe you actually haven't heard of that example before. But nobody, nobody Mark. understood what he was talking. Nobody wants to speak up and tell me what Elon. I explained. think I think everybody thinks it's very clear um, how it's demonstrated. And understand. Oh, Somebody speak up. You got I, it? I, it I, I, don't I don't think it's push at all. I have not heard that. But Curve's explanation was really nice, where he asked why would that push not be strongest near the source instead of at the bottom? Right? Basically, when you get close to Earth, gravity is stronger, and far away from Earth, gravity is weaker. Why would the pushing force get stronger as it approaches the body? I, I'm yeah, pretty sure the true. gravitational attraction isn't that just uh, the form of di time dilation. In his in his push model, we're talking about his push oh, model here, no. nothing else. Elon said it makes sense that it's a push from well, space. I mean, I understand what he said. I don't think there's any reason to think it's necessarily the way it works, but I mean, what he said was fairly clear. Right, but now there's the question that Kirk put for I haven't heard say. that. He said that he said that um, that the way in which mass distorts space time, it distorts space time by he says by pushing on it, and that's distortion is what accounts for what we call gravity or the attraction force. So he's saying it's by pushing on space time that gravity works, so therefore it's pushed. Now, I, it's a, it's the sentence as I said it is clear to me, but I don't have any sense that there's a truth value I can associate to that. I, I just you know I can say the words, but. Is that I think really he's playing true? with words, and that is not at all an explanation for why the push comes from, like space, pushing the object from behind the object, so to speak, towards the Earth. That's well, why. Well, if, 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 if you're talking about pushing, well, but you know, if, if, Earth, if, if in pushing the distant object to the Earth, is that what he's saying? He's saying well, you, know how, you know how Einstein describes gravity as just the curvature in space time, right? And so that everything's always falling, essentially, or moving, essentially. And that if space-time curves, that accounts for things being attracted to each other, right? Look, push has direction. Well, that's what I, that, yes, but that's so far so good, right? So I think the, I, what he said, again, I don't know if it's true. I don't have any real sense that this is correct, is the push that's happening is pushing but, between mass and space-time. But the yeah. problem is, we are talking about the center of the universe. It is the earth and okay. uh, everything I, ev I, everything I, I, about what is around the earth and, and that is the big biggest question and, and therefore and, and we are living in an electric uh, uh, realm and everything will go down the earth because uh, the earth is the negative and everything uh, above the earth is the positive so Fine, Johnny, there you have it but, but the, the... the whole thing is you can't really Call mass curving space time as a push because it it, it that's not really it, how it's, it's, just it's, it's, it's just, just a concept. There's thank you, Johnny. Behind. That's fine. I wasn't finished speaking. Like yes, you, you can, you, all you would say is that it's distorting space time, not that it's pushing on space time, because that's not really defined within the way we use the word push in any sense of the word. Okay. Yeah. The only thing you can uh, use the push if if, if barrier of our 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 small universe that is the earth and uh, everything we are breathing then it will push out to some unknown uh, space that we, when, we cannot describe describe gummy bear in my example of the trampoline would you say that the magnets are pulling together or pushing. Well, the, the problem with, with your trampoline example is that you have directionality because it's a two-dimensional object being pushed into a third dimension, while when you're talking about mass, what I would say distorting space-time is not pushing it. It's not, there's no fourth dimension, so or whatever you want to call it, that it's being pushed into is simply being distorted. Yeah. That, that's the problem for me. And when you say distort, 
What do you mean? Do you mean like pull out of shape? Well, well you, you, yeah. you think, what I mean is is distorted in the sense that straight lines aren't straight anymore in the space. In yeah, the so pull space. out of shape. Well, you no, can call it. The, the problem is you can't really call it pull out of shape or push out of shape because the, the 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 terms pull and push. The, you have to know how physics is. What, what's your you definition? have to know what, what the power is where you can pull. Of distort. The, the path the path has changed. If you have a pressure, it, it, everything will be pushed out from the pressure. If if there's the, no the, pressure, the, hold on, Johnny. The, the, hold on, Johnny. Okay. The straight line path has changed. That's that's what, that's really all that's happening. Is that even even out of the snake still? That's moving through time and, you know, moving through space, however it's moving through space. Because space time is being distorted, uh, you get this effect that, uh, that makes these, the path of the massive object and the other, like the two masses, the paths um, as they go through time are uh, going to intersect at some point. It's because oh, it's, 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 it's being distorted. It's distorting space time. When, when you itself. say distort, what do you mean? What's your definition of distort or distorted? Because everyone keeps shouting the name distorted and they're not saying what the definition they're using. A distorted, they did say that. They said that distortion means the straight lines are no longer straight. But that's like not the X, a definition. The definition. Where did you get, that, you get from? that from? The X, the XYZ coordinates of space and the straight line uh, path of time, uh, you know, something's got to give. So it's like instead of the, if something was moving in a straight line through the XYZ space, you now the thing's distorted, it's not going to be moving in a curved path. That, that's, that's all that's and all. good, but what, where did you get your definition of? Did you just make it up on the spot? No. Because so, no. so, uh, if you haven't made it up, then just show me what the definition is. Well, first you wanted to know what definition they're using, and they told you. Well, what is your issue now? But no, it? no, the line, when he said the, he line, said the line changing, that's yeah, not that's a definition. Exactly. But he's telling you what he means when he says distortion. He, doesn't, he means that there is a change in the space-time such that straight lines are no longer straight. What, what more yeah, is it's, yeah. it's it's so it's changing straight lines to be curved lines. That's distorting. So the so you're to change the form of something. That's your definition. That's correct definition of distortion. Yeah, this is pretty much the way you use the word distort in any sense of the word. Yeah, yeah, you, you, well, you, it depends you, on it depends on how you use it, right? If you look it up the definition, you'll see oh. that it's not actually how you use it. Yeah, well, don't stop worrying about definitions and start worrying about what we're talking about which is if you think about a 3d program which has xyz coordinates like you blender or something like that and it's got the time coordinate if uh somehow adjusting the time warped the xyz coordinates uh you could have already made a uh path of an object and you know it would ordinarily do one thing but if you distort the xyz coordinates uh it's now gonna you know, it's now going to do something totally different, even though it's what still is, following is, those same coordinates. The, the, the what thing, is the thing that's distorting? What is the power that's distorting these objects? It, well, well at, at the very, if you want to describe it in, in a very basic sense, what's happening it, by the space-time the model is that the the mass is essentially slowing down time. It is distorting time, where closer to the big mass, time moves slower. Further away, time moves faster, or at a normal rate, so to speak. Now, what this causes are, for the, for, for the straight lines of space, because time moves at different speeds, the, 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 any velocity that's traveling in the time component which, according to space time curvature, is always at, it, for any non-moving body is is moving at the speed of light in time, will then be changed to be somewhat within space, and therefore the line that that will follow is what we call the curved line of space time. So it's not actually space time itself that's being curved by a mass; it is mass distorting time in which uh, of which time distorts direction within space what do you mean by time time as in the passing of causal events the any way you want to describe time and you said that the closer you are to a mass object the slower the time is relative yes, the more, to what the more time will be slowed down relative to 
in a vacuum with no mass around. So, no. if say if I was in like somewhere else, right? Are you saying that there's no example where if you go to a different planet or whatever, that time would actually uh, speed up? Yes, there is within the space time, within the space time narrative. Even your feet are 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 going through time slower than your head. Yeah, and that's what causes gravitational attraction. Is the, the is the uh... The, the, difference difference in, difference in, yeah, the difference in time. Essentially, the, 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 the difference in time between two parts of a body is causing a distortion from your velocity within time into a velocity within space. And so the warping of space time actually causes that object, object. that is, has, you know, different gravities or different times at the top and the bottom or the you know, nearness and farness from the gravitational body. Uh, its path that's moved through space is now curved <laughs> towards that body because it's uh, it's uh, the part of that body is moving differently through time, like different parts of that body is moving slightly differently through time. Hmm. So, so, what so, if we get something so massive like a black hole and we go near it, time stops? Well, well, in in a sense, the 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 space time narrative or, or general relativity can explain what would happen with time inside of a of a singularity or a black hole. That is where it breaks down. That's the very extreme of it, and we we can't answer it because that's where our model breaks down, and we haven't measured anything inside of a black hole because nothing escapes from it, as far as we're aware. So yeah, from no, it's outside, not a concrete model then. From an outside perspective, just because you just because you can find a very a very specific well, example. Well, not very. Where the, not very. It, well, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. The question is just wrong. So, well, the answer is partially wrong. From an outside observer's perspective, time stops at the um, like the edge of the black hole, right? But from an object's perspective, going into the black hole, that might not be the case. Yeah, it is very possible within the current model that that you, you'll just experience infinite time, yeah, or no time. Like the the thing is, with the current model, you can't talk about what happens on the inside while looking on the outside. And just because you can't do that does not mean that the model is is wrong. It just means that you're you're going to an extreme where the model no longer predicts what we see, or we can't even know if it predicts anything because we can't get any information from with, inside a black hole. At least with our current understanding of black hole. So when it comes to calling gravity anything of a push or a pull, if you talk about space-time curvature gravity, then, I mean, on one level, if you want to talk about it colloquially, where you're just talking about the objects it's involving, then you, I would easily call it a pulling force because one force or one thing is being pulled with quotation marks against the other ob object but if you want to look behind how it actually explains how this is happening well then it's about the slowing of time and and, and the, the curvature of space time and how like it like the, the the velocity in time changes into velocity in space causing geodesics and all of this shit but even then, it's just I, I don't see why you even want to classify it as a as anything but just a pulling force because it describes what it does, pulls it towards it. Did we get to the part where it'd be weird for the Cavendish experiment to be described as a push where it squeezes those together? Yeah. So, like, it's very weird to describe in, two in objects the... getting closer by one object pushing the other. Did um in your model or do you believe that this was the case in the singularity? That Wait, what was what? the case in the singularity? So basically the model of gravity. 
Well, here's a good video from PBS space where they talk about essentially how, yeah, like as the title says, time becomes space inside a black hole. Time essentially ceases to exist inside a black hole. At least occurring to our yeah. Well, well yeah, because in in that in in the example of of a of a black hole, the 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 velocity that you normally have within time would all of it be crammed into space. Because you have it according to the space it, it, according to general relativity your your dis, your your velocity through space time as in space and time at this like the space time concept is constant it, it is the, the speed of light if if you were to so for example uh oh, people always love to bring up the thought experiment of like a pencil and like having the same mass but shrinking it like it like a million times that it would become a black hole because of the density of the mass itself so if we look at like the start of the universe for example why would everything push out how come nothing doesn't stay is of because entropy. when when we're looking at the start of the universe we're looking at all the energy encapsulated into one the density of that uh, singularity would be the greatest thing of all so how could anything push well what physics apply in that condition yeah, it's not the same. So physics. there's no physics in that condition. No, 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 no. The problem is uh, there is uh, uh, the uh, the oh, yeah, the fabric of space. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. The fabric of space time and the bending of space time is just a concept of, uh, of just like I have a headset or something. It's not the reality. This, but generally, you don't have a headset. It's not reality. Yeah, but it's not not the, the explanation of what what is happening uh, on the side, uh, what what the universe is. So uh, that's exactly the, the what it's trying to explain. Are, uh, so it's, well, it's a, okay. Can I can I it's maybe a wrong concept? Wrong concept. If you really want to be handed okay. how 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 you can well for a better explanation, no. So our our theories of. Um, relativity and such are only applicable to our current universe they do not apply to a like time quote unquote in which our universe did not exist general relativity didn't exist you know by the way no, the no, so you can't no. apply the laws of or the theories of um, relativity to like those scenarios it's not applicable what's going on in this picture if it's just the, if it's just uh just an idea. What is it, Johnny? We don't know. It's just a luminary. Cringe. I don't know why you would hold Ariel. You're saying that because we are in our time in the universe that it's basically our laws of physics are all null and are like literally all wrong when it comes to the start. So why would we hold them to this day? Just well, because, it's a, really because it's a different. It's a, wait, wait. It's a different system, right? So, uh, how to describe? Okay. Very early on in the expansion of the universe, right? A fraction of a fraction of a second after the Big Bang, there weren't all the same forces that we have today. For example, the weak and the strong nuclear force were not a separate force. And before that, the weak and the strong and the electromagnetic force were not separate yep. forces. They were all one force, right? So as the universe expanded, the laws of physics, the 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 forces that governed that the universe at that time changed. So our current understanding is applicable to how the universe currently exists, right? But how the universe exists and what you know controls it, what forces of nature exist at that point in time can be different. So therefore, you need different laws to be applicable for those different circumstances. And so when, you're looking, also... at, when you're looking at the okay, singularity okay. before the Big Bang, right? Our laws of physics that apply to a universe that is not a singularity don't apply to the singularity. Right. And I as, just, as, I at that time, I, okay. I, I that... would go to smoke. I would just before before you talk. I just I would go uh, uh, wait. Uh, I would just say, just go on your fucking. 
tell us. No, 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 don't do it, don't do it. I'm just saying you have to define what you're talking about. You have to define the, the nuclear force or how the nuclear force uh, will do that and everything. It, it's, it's, it's just a cool story. It's, all it, this is explained. No, like, no. If you if no. you want it, if you wanted to like learn all of this, all of this can be learned. <laughs> oh, really? All of this information, you... all of this information all, is available, I, I, right? I, I, I have done that. I have done that. I don't. I have done. So that. you're you're a theoretical physicist. Are yes. Oh, really? At, okay. At that can, time, can you also... explain? Can you explain how the the strong and weak nuclear force like separated from each other, or at least how science explains it? Wasn't it, it, wasn't it the weak and the electromagnetic force? I believe it was weak and strong first, and then it was, or that was after weak, strong, and electro were all at one. I might be wrong in the slight order, but I can check. Are the laws again, of physics cool thing called different in uh, different galaxies? No. 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 And so you're saying that the laws of physics are only different when there's a measure of time. No, I wouldn't even say the. I wouldn't even say the laws of physics are different. Measure time. So why? Okay, so you're just saying. So it really makes no sense to me, right? So you're saying that it just changes from what? No time, because you clearly yeah, stated that what? the time that the time difference between now and then changed the laws. It's of not. It. No, no, no. It's no, nothing no, different. No, I've never said that. that. The laws weren't different. The only difference yeah. was the the temperatures dictated that the uh, those forces in. Uh, it's, it's it's about it's the about condition the universe was in at the time. It's not yeah. about time. It's not about the time itself. It's not oh you know ten seconds moved. You know it, it's been ten seconds. Therefore the laws of physics are now different. That's not what I had said at all. If that's what you got from that, then that's not what I was intending. What I was intending was the universe is in a certain state at this point in time, and because of that state, it has these physical properties. Now we go to a different point in time. The universe has different properties, not because of time has changed but because of the universe fucking expanding etc right because of all the shit that's happened now it's at a different state and in this state these are the laws that preside over that condition yes yeah, it's so like it, it's it's I like say... saying it's like saying okay it's like saying this right if i have um i don't know let's use like uh, electricity if i have dc power the laws of like ac induction don't apply Right, because I don't have an alternating current. But if I run my DC power through an inverter to create AC, now the laws of induction apply because I have an AC, you know, electric uh, uh, supply. Right, and I can do induction now, but I can't use my AC power to have you know run like a straight continuous power supply anymore because I don't have DC. Right, so there's certain things that apply in the separate scenarios. So if we look at a different galaxy, um, are the conditions the same as our own? How uh, do you know? Presumably, yes, based Presum on our observation of them. Presumably, that's well, not Well, yeah, we haven't, we haven't physically gone there, right? We haven't tested every single law of physics, right? Every law of physic uh, physics in every place in the entire universe, right? But based on our observations through, you know, radio astronomy through visual astronomy right we don't we haven't seen anything that suggests that the laws of physics are different elsewhere, different elsewhere. Yeah. part part of the part of what allows us to conduct science is the axiom that uh you know everything in the universe is consistent that there's not differences uh you know that there's not different rules in different places or something like that but you know we the conditions at the beginning of the universe that's why they do stuff at, like at the Large Hadron Colliders to try to recreate conditions uh, that would have been, you know, comparable to the beginning of the universe. Yeah, and also the argument of like, oh, you haven't gone to everywhere in the universe and tested it. Like the same thing could be applied to literally anything about your life. Have you ever sat in like every single chair on planet Earth? No. Well, how would you know that every single chair like uh, actually, you know, fucking can hold your weight? Or something like that, right? Like you haven't you just saying, oh, you haven't done it in every single point possible, therefore it's like not valid or something is a pretty shit argument. Like obviously we can make an inference of okay, we've you know tested X many chairs or X many conditions of science here on Earth or in space, etc. We haven't seen anything that suggests that there's like alternate uh forces going on that you know are in, in play in one specific area and not in another. 
Plus, right. we science, 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 science. This is, science will say this is what we have to go on. There's yeah. no evidence to suggest it's anything different. So this is what we're going to use. Yeah. At, we, at a point in time in which we find like a fucking point in space or galaxy or whatever, where there's suddenly new fucking laws of physics, then we'll have to change what we currently have, right? But until such point, there's no reason to presume that there is something else besides what we are currently using. And it's worth pointing out that even though we haven't been to other galaxies, we do get a ton of information from other galaxies, and we do observe the way things behave in other galaxies. So we have you know, yeah. reasons to think that the physics that we have worked out apply to these other galaxies, because when we see the physics happening, we you know they seem to work. We just... Yeah. Uh... And you're saying the physics of what? Watching the planets move? Yeah, sure. Well... Mm, not planets, Super, usually supernovas. stars or supernova, Alties, black, black holes, holes exactly. quasars, yeah. pulsars. Like planets are really small and they don't give off a lot of like light. Yeah, light. light. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's kind of hard to see them. Whereas, you know, if you got some like some like massive black hole, like that's a lot more obvious. Yeah, but we can. We can see. We can see. Plan. We can see. We can see indirectly planets that are close to us. We're not seeing planets in other galaxies, but we can. We can find other planets in our own galaxy, um, based on a variety of methods. Again, usually using the light from a star to essentially illuminate the planet in one have way or another. There? Have, have you been there? Or have we gone it? to another star system yet? No. Have you been there? Have I ever been to another star system? Well, considering no one in humanity has ever gone to another have, star system, I don't think you, I could have either. Have you been in this space? Uh, no, I have not. You're another no. trip, Johnny. So uh, uh, you are living in a fun Does every single person on the planet need to uh, go to space uh, in order for think, us to you're, presume you're, that you're, space exists? You might think you are living in a... Do you need to? Let me ask you this. Do you need I'm to experience? You. Do, you, well, do you think? Well, I let me let me ask a better. Let me ask a better question. That's trying to uh, more so point to like why you're asking these questions. I just want to understand what your um, framework is for truth. So, is it in your opinion required that every single person only accept anything? Like th the conditions for them to accept something as true or false is dependent upon them experiencing that thing directly. Do you need to experience every single thing that you believe in order to have a belief on it, in your opinion? It, uh, it's a, it is uh, a fallacy. Oh, it's that's a, what I'm asking you. That, that, that seems but, like what but, you're, but you're, you're trying your to get. Is a fallacy. You are not answering my question. I, uh, I'm not trying to answer your question. I'm trying to ask a different one. So I, we, can, but you are we can using ignore. Fallacy. We can, I'm not using any fallacy. I'm asking you a question. Oh, <laughs> I'm not making an argument here. I'm asking Johnny never questions. answers I'm, any I'm questions. I'm asking you, how do you be in this? You say no. Uh, and then you say, do, or, and you say, oh, do you really have to be? No, nowhere to. No, no, no. Do that's not what I'm asking, Johnny. Johnny, be? Johnny, that's do not what I'm asking. Have to go to Johnny, Australia Johnny. to know how knock, knock. Is. knock, knock. Yes, you are talking about that. Is there any brain up there? I, I don't have to go to Australia. Be okay, okay. I so am, are, uh, are you done spurging? Are you done spurging? Let me talk to the point, and you will, uh, you will answer. Okay. okay now tell you me. Can. Tell me when you're done, Spurging. No. Okay. Great. So anyway, um, back to my question. Uh, can you give me like any kind of competent answer on what your like your fucking standards of truth are? What do you require <laughs> to like accept oh. something as true or not? It's a very very big question. Uh, I, I, I will give love me a summary. Uh, I'll give it. Have, have, my my answer is: Have you ever done that by yourself? Because have I ever answered I, that question? Yes, I've answered that question. No, I don't think so. Because I, you, I have I've answered lived, the question of what is my standard for truth. You are, you are living in a theory uh, in a fantasy world. Uh, yeah, I know <clears> it <throat> can be great in some time, but I am living in in, in the physical world and in the reality uh, and in, in in the physical realm we are all in. And I I know I have to start from the beginning and upward. Okay. Or, so or, can you or answer whatsoever. my question? So what is your standard of truth? The truth is. Where I'm, standing. Where I'm standing. 
I, I'm not asking about the truth of where you're standing. I'm asking about what your standard of truth is. What do you require for, like, in order to accept the premise? If I tell you X is true, what do you require for me to demonstrate yeah, you to have, you that X is in fact true? Yeah, yeah, you have to give me an example so I can. Okay. I, I, I'd say to you, X is true. Now, can you give me a summary of what your requirements would be such that you would determine whether or not that the statement of X is true is in fact a true or false statement? Whoa, that was really heavy. <laughs> it's really not. It's like fucking. Uh, I, I will answer. Can you take all the answer, answer uh, example? Because uh, I want to follow. Uh, that is an example. Can you take a, a simple example so I can ask? I gave you an exam Jesus example. Christ. X is true. That's an example. No, I will have all the. Example. I'm giving you a generalized example because it's like you know more useful in reality than giving a specific example. Oh, so you are not nice. You will not take. It. Okay, say it again. I gave you an example. I gave you a generalized example. The statement of X is true. How would you go about determining whether or not the statement X is true is is a statement you should accept or a statement you should reject or a statement that you should um, not make a judgment on at this point in time? It's the first time I, I don't really understand English. Okay, I'll, I'll, try, I'll, I'll, try to rephr I'll try to rephrase. Someone says, this thing is true. You have three options. You can either agree with them. You can say, yes, that thing is in fact true. You can disagree with them. You say, no, that thing is not true. Or you can say, I don't know whether or not this thing is true or false. I don't know. Those are your three options. I'm asking you, how do you go about what is your process of figuring out which one you take? Do you say, I agree? Do you say, I don't agree? Or do you say, I don't know? How do you do that? If, if, I, if, if I know something about it, I know. But uh, if I'm not true about it, I will say, I don't know. OK. So. If someone presents something to you, say they, I don't know, they say they've launched a model rocket to 200,000 feet. And based on their observations, they've determined the Earth is round. How would you go about determining whether or not you accept their claim, you reject their claim, or you're reserving judgment? Uh, I, I, because I, I, because I know. Well, I'm talking about the uh, and uh, I don't research uh, about it. I know what's happening in uh, two hundred thousand feet, and I'm absolutely confident uh, to talk about it because I have absolutely uh, knowledge uh, what's happening in two hundred thousand feet or one hundred. 20,000 feet, let's say. But what you are talking about is confiscating of, of the reality and uh, how, 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 how we work and how we figure out things. And your things to figure out things. It's uh, very, very clever. I understand that. And I, I understand that you're clever, but you're a fucking shit. <laughs> <sighs> Johnny. I mean, if I was trying to disinvest that, I would have to go and say, uh, based on my knowledge of what the, and my definition of a model rocket, I would say I'd be skeptical. I would need more information to know how they pull it off because there's not enough fuel on board most model rockets to accomplish that. Okay, not, not, mo not model as in like, Two feet tall. Okay, the model is in not like an orbital fucking rocket. Okay, so I don't know. I mean, it was forty thousand pound or four thousand pounds. The that's key he's looking for is amateur. Test. Yeah, so that'd be a better term for it. Okay. Then that sounds within the uh, realm of what my understanding of physics US, is. So you could probably USC students put an amateur rocket into space like uh, two years ago. Based on my understanding of rocketry, I think that's quite doable. 
I would always beat it against my you know experience or extended experience. Scott, why do you want to? I don't even know what you mean by pivot back to Elon. Elon is a guy. He's left now, though. But Elon is the guy you were talking to before. You're talking to the guy who's too drunk to have anything to say back to you of substance. That's what I mean. Oh, okay. Elon is actually Elon, Sheeple, push guy. by the way, just so you guys know. He's what? That's Sheeple's Phoenix. No, it's not. Negative. Negative. It is. No, he was in here talking. He's not Sheeple's Phoenix. I was just PMing him at Sheeple's Phoenix. Dude, it's not him. His voice is very clearly not him. Who the f- okay. Yeah, just rewind the live stream about a half hour. Or 40 minutes or whatever. I, I have to say, listen to this fucking shit. It's, it's a mind-blowing. Oh, how really can he keep on and, and use all this word that is absolutely meaningless? There is nothing behind it, and he has nothing to... to to uh, to back it up it has nothing behind it. There's nothing. There's nothing scientific behind it. Just a talk. It's just oh, I am so fucking great. I I I I, I can use the fun, fancy word and everything. It's meaningless. See, uh, Johnny, most of us have a measure of truth or a de- way to determine truth that doesn't involve you know, reaching out to our favorite con men on YouTube. For instance, I know for a fact that the uh, atmosphere thins as you gain altitude. I actually have a barometer. This is something that I've verified. And uh, I don't believe people that tell me that space is fake because there's no reason for there to be no vacuum up there. But uh, what will you come to? What do you mean? Yeah, in, in uh, all gen- general, uh, what what should mind? What w- will your mind come to? There has to be a vacuum up there, given the fact that the air continuously thins out as you gain altitude. It has to be a vacuum. Yep, that's the likely conclusion. But uh, then you cannot uh, live in. You let go of uh, your button. What did you say? We are, we are in a closed system. Do you know that? It is, for most practical purposes, treated as a closed system. So we, of course, know that it's not completely closed. The Earth. Oh, so uh, it's a topic speaking now. Wait, yeah, what? Sorry, yeah, I turned down for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah Earth, you're using topic speaking. Speaking. Oh, Can no, you explain Earth why you're uh, topic system. speaking? No, I know. Explain why are you topic speaking? Uh, Because I was interjecting. I am sick and tired of this. You think I am so fucking clever, but you are so fucking stupid. I I asked a fucking clarifying question, my guy. I don't know what your issue is. Let's go take a nap. I was freaking out over someone asking a question, just saying, like, oh, what are you guys talking about? (laughs) I'm really trying to listen, but if I heard double speaking, I, I get sick and tired. I apologize for asking a question. No, it's not about question. It is statement. Statement. Of, uh, no, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're in a closed system, but it's open. This <laughs> double speak. Negative. The volume of matter that moves in and out of our atmosphere is very small compared to the volume of the atmosphere itself. In general cases, in most practical purposes, we can treat it as though it is a closed system. However, we know Deep down, when you look at it, it's not completely closed. You can use your fucking voice in the master. You, it will not change the, uh, the 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 fact of mind and knowledge and and physic. It can never happen. Why not? Again. You need. If you if you have a gas pressure system and closed system, and you say it, you say it by yourself, we are in a closed system. 
Then you can never take a rocket to the space if you are in a closed system. Why not? Why not? Oh, it's closed. No, he's right if it's closed. But we're not saying it's closed. It's mostly closed. It can be treated as Oh, closed. there is some uh, vaquina penetrates. There we come to the uh, something. Yeah, so yeah. for short for short periods yeah. of time. You might, you might be right, but they are not doing that. Okay, for, for short periods of time. They are like... faking. They are okay. faking that. Okay, so on short periods of time in like astronomical sense, the Earth is a closed system. What that means is that for any like any time scale on, on human time frames, like a hundred years, a thousand years, whatever, there is such an irrelevant amount of matter that moves through or moves out of like uh, the Earth system, it, it can be ignored. Oh, on the time scale, on the time scales of like you're, you're, millions you're to billions of years, you're, then it's like very You relevant. don't know what you're talking about. You're I do know what talking. I'm talking about. No, you're talking about I do. So so the reason why we know this, right, is one, we know that Earth has a magnetic field. Uh, we understand oh. that there is solar wind from the sun, right, ionizing particles that come from the sun, uh, which would right, happily strip but, off our atmosphere. But not right. Not so right. It's not the solar wind that you think. Yes, it, oh, it yeah, is. We have so no. So then no, we, have the, this, not, we have this. Not in the same field. after you think it is. Yes, yeah, so we have. So we have this magnetic field, right? And the magnetic field yes, deflects yeah. that solar wind, yes. which yes. stops it from scraping off our atmosphere. Now, because of this, it means that there's not actually that much stuff that comes in contact with the Earth's atmosphere that would actually strip any of it away, really. So the Earth's atmosphere very, 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 very slowly bleeds off material into space. However, the Earth also gains mass over time from things like asteroids and other bodies oh, you know, oh, running oh, into oh, it. Stop, 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 stop. You, you say, oh, uh, you, you were with me, uh, we were in a closed system, and then you start talking about asteroids. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not we, I, it, it, so, you cannot have yeah, so, so what I said, so what I said so Johnny, Johnny, you didn't stupid. listen. No, so Johnny, you're not. So Johnny, so Johnny, oh, really? you didn't How listen. can you yeah. explain it? So, so in Johnny, the closest demo and then yeah. the asteroids should come in. Yeah. Okay, so, how? So Johnny, you didn't listen, right? So oh, really? uh, use your, use your ears. Use your ears. Like, you, you, can't be, you can't be listening when you're talking. You interrupted me. I don't know why you're freaking out. I got I got about four sentences in and you started fucking spurging. You are fucking stupid. I don't know. Well, look, look in a mirror sometimes, bud. You say, so, you say, you say, so what I, you so what I said, you say, so what I said, so instead, of, instead of you, instead of, you talking about instead of, the instead of, from the of, space, instead of, you, instead of, instead of you dictating, like what I said, why don't you just let me say it? Right? So what I said was, I'll repeat again, because maybe you didn't hear. Right? I said that on short time scales, on the order of 10, 100, 1000 years, stuff like that, Earth can be assumed to be assumed, a closed system. It, it, it isn't it isn't it isn't in fact as we can all agree it isn't in fact a closed system it is technically an open system oh, but the amount oh, but the amount oh, of change no, you chasing, the amount you of cha- hold on hold on hold on the amount of change over those short time spans is negligible to the point where it can oh, be ig- to the oh. excuse me excuse me excuse, thank you so it's negligible to the point where it can be ignored it has no relevance uh on what we actually do in our math in our physics right now if we're looking at astronomical time scales of like millions to billions of years then it is relevant to treat it as a closed system or excuse me an open system because it, the amount oh, of mass transfer you, is no longer you're, is you're no longer confused. irrelevant. You are very confused. We know that. How, how are, am I confused? We understand that. Everything you say is a fucking bullshit, and you are talking so? about billion and billionaires. How, have you measured it? Have you done that, or are you just rebidding something from the textbook? I'm you're fucking referencing shit? actual science. So, oh, actually, do you yeah. know what science is? Yes. Johnny, why oh. do you care? You, you, okay, you've never studied, Johnny, you've never studied a fucking physics book in your life. Why do you, what's your dog in the world? You don't know what a closed system is. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking. Yeah, you've been talking about stuff. They're only useful in the world. Define nat
characterize the Earth as such doesn't mean that an open or closed system matters significantly on our day-to-day lives, as the other guy is explaining. So again, what's your qualifications for having an issue with it? Other than you're incredulous, I don't think it works. I need no fucking qualification. I'm a, a human being, and I'm the Alpha Omega. There you have it. Do you understand that? Cool, cool story. I'm like a beta. Is that what so, the B in your name is for, beta? Alpha Omega. Yeah, but why do you have beta in your name? Well, would it be fair, like, if, if you looked at a tire, uh, a car tire, and said that that's a closed system for the purposes of air, but if you take that same tire over a period of uh, a decade, um, you'll find that that tire is actually an open system. Yeah, yeah that's, a great, that's a great analogy. If, I, if I'm going on a road trip in my car, uh, I can treat my tire as having like a constant pressure um, over that road trip, right? Like it's not the amount of air that's going to escape out of that tire is so insignificant that it's like basically irrelevant. But if I let my car sit in my garage for 10 years and I never touch it, the air is going to slowly leak out of the tire. And over those 10 years, you know, by the end of it, my car is going to be sitting on rims. So, yeah, then it's like important for me to, you know, care about the, oh, yeah. the air loss. Okay, your your example is, is it not relevant to anything. How so? Not very relevant. I, I think you are fucking stupid. That's your okay, fucking well, problem. I, I think you're... Um... Why, why, why are you taking uh, example <laughs> so fucking stupid like that? If you, if you are something... Okay, well, instead of just like throwing out pejoratives, could you actually explain anything about what you're saying? Because no. uh, you don't know anything about what you're talking about. That's, that's okay, well, Johnny, Johnny, can you, can Johnny, you, you, can you defend that Johnny, statement in any way? Mind. And you have of to course. think with your brain, Johnny, not your liver. You got this. <laughs> do, Johnny, do you treat a car tire as an open system or a closed system? Because I think if you treat it as an open system, it's going to be kind of a, an and unusual it, 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 If nothing, thing nobody is shooting on the, on the tire, it's a uh, long. <laughs> uh, car tires are where Johnny keeps his spare liquor. True, true. There's no air in car tires in his world. Yeah, let's treat it as an uh, open no. system. It's e- instantly going to equalize with the rest of the world. Tire and uh, 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 gas pressure and everything is just like a tire in, in your we, we have, uh, your car. Is a tire an open system? Wait. Well, Johnny, do you do you treat your brain as a closed system? Yes. No. Yes. It seems like it. No, it is. So, Johnny, Pick is your car tire an open system or a closed system? My tire? Yes. I have no tire. You don't have a tire? Oh okay. The car, you car? in your house is that, uh, that your neighbor has, you, is that an you, open you, system or you, a closed you, system? You yourself ask me, do your body, is your body open or a closed system? That, that I didn't ask that. The right, no, I, no one asked that. No one asked that. Now the tire of a car in your okay the um uh, let's see you must have a cleaning product in your house do you have an aerosol <coughs> cleaning product in your house is that an open system or closed system I have a I have a so uh, I don't care about your asking I think it's pretty straightforward Do you have a cleaning product of any kind in your house Yes my my. Yes, you have a bottle. Yeah, of Windex? You have a bottle. I have, of a, I have a woman that's cleaning my house. Yeah. All right. All right. So, does the bottles that that person stores the cleaning product in, right, are those open or closed systems? Uh, my house is. Uh, I'm not asking about your house. I'm asking about the cleaning product. Is the cleaning product that they that they use when it's stored in the bottle? Is that bottle an open or closed system? Uh, so so long as here is not open. Okay, so it's it's closed. It's a sealed bottle. Yeah, it's a sealed bottle. Yeah. Okay, so, so where, yeah. where will you come? This is a very very bad. I think I. Uh, see, yeah. See, so so the real the real important thing though, right, is if you let that bottle sit for long enough, eventually you won't be able to treat it as a closed system anymore, right? Because it'll have 
broken down. The seals, the seals, the seals, the seals, the seals, the seals, the seals will have decayed, right? The seals will have decayed. The cleaning product, the cleaning product will start to, you know, significantly, significantly, significantly evaporate, right? The plastic will start breaking down and releasing the water. Actually, so actually, plastic. Uh, certain gases can um, go, like can move through the plastic, right? It doesn't perfectly seal the cleaning product from the outside. So the water inside or the cleaning product inside will start to absorb. There's something wrong with you well. uh, talking about that. No, no, I'm, is no. I'm just, I'm just explaining how, like, you know, I, it's just, it's just like a demonstration. Rambling. Sorry, hold on. I'm just gonna mute you so I can make this point. Thank you. Anyway. anyway. Yeah, you're, so you're it was just a good example, right, of how on short time frames, stupid. like, you know, right you're not the time that out. someone holds a bottle of cleaning product in their house, they can treat it as closed. But if you're talking about, you know, over 100 years, will that cleaning talking product about, like, cleaning always stay in that idea. bottle and never change? No, they're like, the cleaning product fucking is going to start to evaporate. The bottle is going to okay. deteriorate. Like, this is basic logic. Water's wet, yeah. Who cares? Who's no, just just that, explaining so. how open and closed systems work Man's to you. Hey, maybe I should go to move that. Uh, uh, talk. Explaining something okay. doesn't need to be explained. I'm going to talk too. Well, obviously it did because he failed to un understand that concept before well, when it was applied to, to planets. So you yeah, have nothing. You're stupid. Sorry, Grim. You're you like running? you're Grim. You're really quiet, and the drunk guy like overtalks you, so I can't. hear Oh, him. really? Because I'm a drunk. I'm, I'm drunk. I know why you are. Stupid. Well, people were saying wow. you were drunk. That's why I said it. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. But you are I'm stupid. Not... Maybe I'm drunk, but you are stupid. So, what were you saying, um, Grimf? Yeah, I was just saying, you, you're pretty much explaining something obvious to a horse. The horse will never get it, even no matter how obvious it is. Oh, yeah. This is a bigger topic, though, Grim. This is actually talking to all the people who say that it's, is it closed or open. Well, we're not even sure about that as in today's modern era of, of our own theory. We keep saying, whoops, looks like a lot more is going on in the Earth's upper atmosphere and space than we thought. There's a lot more material coming in and going out than once previously thought. And this is all like brand new. Yeah, but as a base.